Radio Rahim here with training coach Justin Fortune. Obviously, we're in Macau. This is fight week. This is your time. Pacquiao is looking in great shape. Talk to me about your camp in the Philippines and why um, Manny's in such good condition for this fight. Um, he's in good shape. He gave me a good base to work off when I came with all his basketball and stuff. So bringing him up to an apex was relatively easy, but he's happy. He's been running. He's just been training hard. He's really... Um, He's in better shape for this fight than Bradley fight. Like, way better shape, and Bradley's a way better fighter than Algeri. Um, so mentally, he's right up. This morning, he was doing his jogging and stuff, singing the national anthem and stuff. He's in good spirits. It's like the old Pacquiao that everyone's been wanting to see. Physically and mentally, he's, he's, he's definitely back. You talk about the old Pacquiao. Obviously, you were there during those days, and Manny... He seemed like he was eager to get into training camp this time, so he did start early. Was that at your request or his? No, um, he was always giving me a good base to work off because he's always active. He's always playing ball or, or stuff like that. So for Pacquiao, it's easy. It's not like I have to come into a training camp and start from scratch. So oh, you give me a two-week fucking base of long runs and long workouts so I can work up properly. But um, he's always there. But he was... This one was just different, you know. He's just he's always he was just keen to get in the train. He had a couple of good drops, a couple of good knockdowns with good punches, good tactics. Him and Fred worked out. Um, they concentrated a lot on his uh, lateral movements and his footwork. So he's always on his toes. And we think on this fight, once he hits Algeria, it'll be a chase. Um, if Algeria engages, it's over. You talk about the chase, and when a fighter has over 60 fights like Pacquiao has, you know, he's getting long in the tooth in boxing years. When you face a young, hungry fighter like Algeria is, are you concerned about the conditioning as the rounds get longer and later to keep Mac Manny Pacquiao on the same pace? What have you been doing to make sure he can, he can it's do that? not so much that. It's not, you know, he's been fighting 12 rounds for since the year dot, you know. Um, so he's a seasoned 12 round fight. It's keeping things varied and keeping him interested so he doesn't get bored because let's face it, it's fucking boring. You know, it's three rounds here, four rounds there, three rounds here. It's boring shit, but all the round work has to change, change, change because, you know, I have to keep it interesting for him. His body has to respond, so you have to keep changing up because so he doesn't slip into that just same old, for the same old thing. But uh, young, yeah, I mean, you know. But who's Algeria faced? Provodnikov? Really? It's a bad... Provodnikov had a bad lead up in that camp. Um, you know, his conditioning just was not there. It was just... Wait, everything was just wrong for that fight for Provodnikov. That's why he lost. If he was on target, he was on... You know, like he was on fire, he would have destroyed Algeria. That's Provodnikov. This is Pacquiao. It's a whole different kettle of fish. Now, Manny's tired of hearing people talk about him not being able to score the knockout, but it has been a while, and now he's coming down to weight. This is 144. It looks like he's coming down to 140 to, to face Garcia if possible. I mean, obviously, if the Mayweather fight doesn't happen, where the hell is he going to go at 47? He might as well come to 40. There's some good fighters, great fighters down there. Manny runs through that division. He'd pick up two or three fights and, you know, and do very, very well for himself. Um, that's, and that wins, but... Um, you know, he, he's fine. Do you think he has more power, he'll have more power down there, that the yeah, knockouts will start coming back? Yeah. Well, you say knockouts are 47, but, like, come on. I mean, you know, the last fight was Bradley. He beat a guy in his prime who was world champion, who has the best fucking chin in the business and is physically fit and strong and has skills and didn't want to get knocked out, didn't want to lose his title. This guy's got a heart that fucking big. So, you know, and he beat that guy. He beat him soundly. So it's like, mm, it's very <laughs> at this level, you ain't getting, like, those knockouts. You know what I mean? The other knockouts, when he was in his prime, young coming through, yeah, you know, sometimes those fighters underestimate Pacquiao, which a lot of fighters do. They know he's fast. They just don't realise how fast he is till they actually get hit by him. And they can't counter. You know what I mean? So it's like, you know, yeah, yeah, I know Manny's fast. So, really? Wait till you hit. And then you can't match Manny inspiring. You can't match Floyd inspiring either. Because Floyd is Floyd. And Pacquiao's Pacquiao. So you can't get sparring partners to say, well, I've been sparring with a guy who's just as quick because they're not out there. 
So even if Pacquiao drops one or two notches because of age, he's still faster than anyone else out there. So, you know. Algieri said to me today that his timing beats Manny Pacquiao's speed. <laughs> Algieri's only had 20 fights in, in, in his career as a professional. Yeah, and fought who? Provodnikov was his biggest fight. What are his fucking timing? Really? Come on, break, dude. Here, he's in way over his head. Last night he's wearing sunglasses. This guy's scared to fucking death. I mean, you know, he realizes now as the fight draws closer, the whole shit, you know? What the fuck? I mean, when I fought Lance Lewis, I looked up and said, oh, geez, I might be in a bit of trouble here. So, <laughs> it happens. Well, the last time I talked to you, we talked about a fight even bigger than Lennox Lewis. Oh, yeah. You know, uh, it was before that you took off to Russia for uh, Lebedev, obviously before the training camp in Philippines. So you've been going nonstop ever since we got out of that chair yeah, for the yeah. interview. Talk to me about your health and, and how you've been it's keeping good. this kind of pace. Um, it's good. The Philippines was great because the availability of, uh, of me living clean over there is very, very easy. Um, good tropical fruits, good cancer fighting foods, you know, so my diet stayed very clean and tons of water because you sweat like a dog over there. Um, it's, it's been good, you know, and, and, and my side, sorry, my, my, no, my fight's my fight. It's irrelevant to the boxing as um, something I don't bring up. Manny knows about it and that's it. And we're mates and he says his prayers and that's the end of it. Well, you're looking great, man. Um Good luck Saturday it's night. It's a pleasure to see you. Like twice, twice a day, every fucking day. Yeah. There's nothing else to do. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, it's working for you. So keep up whatever you've been doing. Radio Rahim with Justin Fortune.